Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's explore the pettiest lawsuits filed against fast food restaurants together. But first, let's play What's the Word, where we see a word and guess the definition. It is Zarzuela. 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 What is a Vuvuzela? What is the thing that you yeah. blow at the, at the soccer's? At the soccer's, at yeah. The football games? Vuvuzela. Vuvuzela. A, um, zarz a Zarzuela is when you take a Vuvuzela. What is it? V vuvuzela. Vuvuzela? You're making me think I'm wrong now. And you yeah. turn it around and you suck on it. And nothing happens. <laughs> no, no. And it oh, makes, I've done it. It makes a Zars sound. It makes a Zarzuela. What is it, Zach? What is You'll it now? We have to know. know now. And then, okay. Spanish opera having spoken dialogue and often a satirically treated topical theme. Oh, we should have known that. Yeah, yeah. It's an Basically, opera where they don't sing what I was saying. in Spanish. Wow, Link. Hey guys. Sweep on the shuffleboard zone. Man, it was so Do dramatic at the end too. So dramatic, wow. man. I thought I had it. Link, do you know how much that I, I like McDonald's it. French fries? A lot. Yeah. So much. Something that everybody knows about me is how much I like McDonald's French fries. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yes. You said that one what? time very recently, and I was like, oh, I didn't I, I do. remember that about myself. Oh, you're well, saying that's not true? Because I'm like, yeah. I do like I McDonald's like French fries, but point. it's you. not like, it's not my bio. Do you know what I dislike? But I know you. In and out fries. In and out fries. I know you yeah. dislike this. In and out this. fries are not good unless you put a lot of salt on them. And animal style, though. Animal really style, good. and you have to eat them fast. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you yeah, have to They turn eat them. bad really quickly. Oh, yeah. It's like. Stevie. You have to eat them before you drive away. Like, yes, I, right? I sit there and I eat them while I'm paid. I got a bone to pick with you. Oh, God. Okay, so what do you, I mean, what's the worst that could Stevie, happen? Stevie, you don't owe him anything. What's the worst that could happen if, he you, had lost. Had, if you had just said 1975? Do you, have you ever read the comment section before? I mean, you know, but like, think about how I would feel right now. You know, and, and you know, sure we deal with the fact that we had lost credibility as a show. And, and, and that our facts didn't really matter. But, I like the idea of us losing credibility somehow. Can like, I, well, what? This show. It, what do you this show just but as a if just as an asterisk on the thing you would be like technically it's 1965 but i and it would be like this it, you would be signed by stevie at the end because you would be writing the asterisk right. technically it was 1965 but i said 75 because Rhett was so excited about landing on 70. don't worry we told him later there was an episode recently where i helped you both cheat but i helped link cheat more than you and yet there were comments about how i help you cheat more and then somebody watched it and they were like, no, she helped Link more. Do you, so I gotta, I've got to try and dig myself out of a hole that I never put myself in, but other people did. Yeah, which I is was, that I help you more, Red, but that's not true. That's what I was saying. You don't owe him anything. So you don't really have to It was just so respond. Uh, it, was, it was one of those moments where I'm trying to think of like a moment in sports history where somebody thinks that they've done something and then they, they go to review the tape and they're like, nope, you didn't release it in time. Rocky is what I'm thinking about. I think it's I think it's, it's like pretty Rocky. simple. I mean, you just you didn't win, right? I mean, it's like I know it's hard. To you know what I did, and I'm I'm going to take all the way all all day today. I banked it right into the seventy. I, I you know what I, I lost five to zero, but I banked it into the so seventy. So you won at that? I won at that one little battle. I lost the war. I won the battle. I, <laughs> which is what you which is what's important in life. You know what? It, I just for a second, I, I, I want I'll pitch something to you. Okay. This is an opportunity. A ball, I hit it right out of the park. <laughs> this, is an this is an opportunity for you to see things my way. I don't want way. to grow, Link. I'm six foot freaking seven. I, I don't need to grow anymore. Everybody's always talking about, you want you to try to grow a little bit. I'm like, have you seen me in, the, in this outfit? I don't roll up the sleeves and the pants because I think it looks cool. I do that because it's not long enough. I can't grow anymore. I'm f I'm a full adult. You know what? Yeah, to clarify, the sizes available on mythical.com will fit nearly everyone unless you are rent. Unless apparently. you're so used to winning 
when you do lose, and this is just an XL, I think it goes. We can, then it won't you fit. Could technically, right? get a size bigger, right? Oh well, yeah, I think multiple X is bigger than that. Yeah. But also, I kind of like the pushed up situation. Well, I thought you, know, you were doing that. I was hoping purposefully. you would. But um, apparently, do you guys apparently you don't wanna, like it enough uh, to cheat for me. Play the game that this video yeah. is about. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna feel guilty for winning. You know what, Link? That's no, good. Hey, man, listen. First ever a queen sweep. I feel like with something more than well, prizes. I mean, you don't, you don't have thing. to celebrate it. You don't have to make no, this moment here's the about other me. Thing. It saying. wasn't by luck also. It, it wasn't was a well played It was well played. Well you, you had well good executed. guesses. I'm not, I'm, not asking for, and, I'm not asking for your accolades. I'm just gonna take the win for what it was and I meant to do it. That's what I learned. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> read you. From my soccer you, days when I over celebrated. I'm gonna read you a, a petty fast food lawsuit situation. These are all real, so you're not guessing if they're real or fake. You're guessing at which chain, at which restaurant did this take place. So they're all fake. They're all real. Yes. Doug and Patty Wargo, you know them? Yeah, yeah, they eat at McDonald's. Married Everybody. couple. Of Pennsylvania were charged twice for their meal at this fast food spot. They demanded a refund and the restaurant agreed, but when the refund never arrived, they sued them for a total of seventeen thirty-five. That rhymed. <laughs> seventeen thirty-five. Well, that, this is not. I mean, a couple getting just food for themselves and spending seventeen thirty-five. Is there pain and suffering included in that? Or is that just the price of the meat? Sounds like just. I the do meat. not have that uh, information, How, but that's a lot of food. Side question. That's a Carl's Jr. meal. How do you get charged twice at a fast food restaurant? You like pay and then they they forget that they've that you've paid and no, then I you forget that, that you like, paid and then you pay again? The guy held the button for too long on Yeah, he's like, "Whoops, I ran right. your card twice. I'm sorry." But we will we will send you a refund. We promise. Car, uh, Carl's Jr. But in Pennsylvania, there might have been a Hardee's. I think this is a place where they have the touch screens because I think that makes it a lot more likely and maybe all of them have touch screens now. I um, mean, like a Wendy's. Which one is like you know? Because you can really double tap really easily on a touch screen. But like, if it's like the keyboard thing, I don't know who's got what what protocol. I'm sticking with Carl's Jr. Slash um, Hardee's. No, I think this is. I think McDonald's is more modernized. I'm gonna go with McDonald's. You're both incorrect. Oh, then it's Burger King. Wendy's. It's Burger King. Mm. Double charged a they Burger won, King. They won, by the way. They won that 1735. Gosh, man, you can't talk about having time on your hands. Yeah, what in the, I mean. Speaking of time on your hands, listen to our podcast, Ear Biscuits, because yeah. like, it's two lifelong friends talking about life for a long time, right. about an hour. If you got that amount of time, or you can be doing something else and listening to well, it. I, well, that's what I highly suggest. I mean, I, I, I don't suggest you just sitting down doing nothing but listening to our podcast. I, I would like to think at certain just, points, it gets so real, the podcast gets so real that you would you have to stop what you're doing and just listen. Do you do any, do you listen to Ear podcasts biscuits, or, wherever podcasts or books on tape while doing nothing else ever? No, but there's certain times when I'm like, you know what, this weekend I'm gonna sit down and listen to a book on, Tape. Well, I'll listen to music while doing nothing but listen to music. But I, something about listening I've to never somebody done speaking, it. I won't. I have to do something else. I've never done it, but I honestly have been thinking about planning to do it, just to see what planning it's like. Planning a listening session for a book, yeah, or a podcast, just to see, yeah, just to see what it's like. I can tell you what it's like. You've done it? No, I can just imagine. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want you imagining. I imagine what it's like to sit there and listen to someone reading a book. It's like being in school and having your teacher read a book to you. But if you're like lying in a comfortable place, it's like reading a book with your eyes closed. It seems pretty great to me. I think you got to be moving at least. Try it with one, our podcast. One extremity. All right, Stevie, we're ready for another one. A man. Do you know him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In he's Mississippi. Been, he's been there. Mississippi. A Mississippian. Take ordered some food in the drive-thru of this fast food restaurant. They gave him a spork, but no knife. He reportedly choked on his food and had to go to the hospital, then sued the restaurant for not giving him a knife, claiming that that's what caused him to choke on the food. What? K well, it's gotta be KFC because of spork. It's not KFC. What, they have who, sporks elsewhere? Who else has a spork? And, where, what, and what do you have somewhere else that you need to cut with an, oh, Wendy's. Wendy's has a spork? Yes. For the chili? 
Uh huh. Why does it need to be a fork? For what? Well, not for the chilies, but Wendy's. For, for the potatoes? I, I believe Wendy's has a spork. Uh, no, they don't. They have a fork that then goes to like a rectangle at the end. It's got a rectangle billboard on the end that says Wendy's. You've been looking at and they got, forks? And they got really stout forks at Wendy's. There was a time. I'm assuming I think it's not Wendy's because you didn't respond. In college, I would steal a bunch of forks from Wendy's I and use the them as weirdest, silverware. Weirdest, weirdest website. The most robust silverware you can find is going to be at Wendy's. Take this, it, just grab it, grab it up. This this website, which is incorrect because it doesn't have, include have spork? the uh, the restaurant I'm talking about, just looks like a a stretched word document, and it, there's a question that says, "What restaurants currently use sporks?" KFC, Taco Bell, El Pollo Loco, El Taco, many roasted chicken stores, <laughs> Lucky uh, Supermarkets, okay. and Kenny Kenny Rogers Express. Roasters. Kenny Rogers Roasters. One time we were walking, where were, where, where were we? We Some were in Mc, London, right? Some McDonald's. We were walking around London, and uh, I was like, was a, and I said, I'm thinking yeah. of, a, of a restaurant. Or I may have just said I'm that, thinking of a place. I think you just said I'm thinking of something. I'm thinking of something. And then we played the yes or no game and it was Kenny Rogers Roasters. It was the yeah. most boring yes or no game ever, but you had to play it for like 30 minutes. Stevie was, was there, she was. She had to listen to it. Stevie, were you there for that? Yeah. I don't recall that, but yeah. I don't It was so boring, that. but you were there. And when it was all said and done, you didn't know that Kenny Rogers Roasters existed and we told you about it. And you've already forgotten it. Yeah. May he rest in peace. Tell me about it again. Spork. Taco you were Bell. close with KFC. Uh, Pollo Loco. Popeyes. Oh, Popeyes, yeah. Popeyes. He later dropped the charges. Oh, we didn't win. Stacy Pincus. People like this. This is roll call. These are not the type of people you want to have in your life. People who would litigious people. Yeah. Stacy Pinkus from Illinois. You don't want her in your life. Claimed that the amount of ice this chain put in their ice drinks was taking away from the actual beverage volume the customer paid for. She sued in a class action lawsuit for five million dollars. Man, Stacy, come on. Class action. Does that mean that she got other people in on this? Yes. And then they and then the five million is distributed to anyone who who didn't get their money's worth for their drink. Who like responds to that email they get from this restaurant. I this is this this kind of makes me upset. It makes me very upset. I mean, it's it, it's it's a combination of having time on your hand and and a sense of entitlement, but also a like a, a victim. Complex. Well, it's, it's also not thinking about how you, if everyone yeah, were personal to behave, responsibility. if everyone were to behave in the way that you're behaving, society would break down, right? If everyone was like Stacy, and everyone complained about things like ice in their drinks, then we couldn't do anything. But there's just a certain there's a handful of people who are just like I'm just a person who does this thing, and I and I and it's like well, I don't have to worry about everybody else. If if I don't think there's enough ice in there, then I'm going to sue. You guys know what Stacy's middle name is. Doofus. Doofus Dinkus. Her last name's Dinkus? Karen. Oh. There it is. Oh, yeah. Was that a joke or Pinkus. a real thing? It was Karen a joke. Dinkus Pinkus. Uh, but. Who doesn't put enough, who puts too much ice? That's, 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 uh, well shoot. It has to be someplace where they do the ice for you. Well, they used to do ice for you at most places. They've only recently pulled it out yeah. to the to the to the people. Pull yeah. it out to the. You people. know, one of the last places where they would do the ice for you is Chick Fil A. They, they they were they were they held on for a long time well, maybe to that's doing the guess. ice themselves. Chick Fil A. Chick -fil -A. Incorrect. This is a uh, uh, questionable if it's fast food. It's a beverage forward mm. restaurant in which there are very many locations and beverage some of them forward. Ours Julius. Yeah. No, and some of them are drive through. Sonic. No. No. Bev this is. Sonic's not even a drive through. This is a. Oh, Jamba Juice. This is a beverage you drink every morning. Starbucks. Starbucks, yeah. 
Yeah, Morgan just picked the up his suit. Starbucks mug well, and looked at me. That, <laughs> that oh. might make a difference. Who's see, cheating see, now? That changes everything. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. That. That's actually. I, I'm. I'm on her. I'm on her side now. I take it all yeah, back. Yeah. The she suit claimed that coffee. ice. I'm signing that class action. Was not a drinkable liquid and therefore not beverage. The judge dismissed the case, citing that a reasonable customer ordering an ice drink knows that the drink they receive will include both ice and tea. Wow. I will Jonathan. say, there, before we move on to Jonathan. Come on, Red, I wanna hear about Jonathan. There's many times where I've gotten like an iced coffee at a place, maybe Starbucks. Yeah. And then I, I'm kinda, I'm done with it, you know, I finish things quickly. So like, before I've really like even exited the Starbucks, I'm like, I'm almost done with this. Can I get a refill already? Like, man, there's a lot of ice in here. Maybe I should sue them. The last part is the part I don't go to. What I they enter the way that I circumvent this, they have this um, cold brew nitro. Yeah, I heard about this. And then you get that with no ice, because that it's already it's well all iced coffee is cold because it's refrigerated. But, but it's gonna get warm pretty quickly. But then they put it. I think the guy recommended no ice. Or maybe do it. Well, the one thing I know, I ask for a, for an extra cup of ice. I mean, I'll gladly pay for it. Oh, and then you di you you dilly the you dilly. Yeah, you the ice yourself. Because my big thing is you don't want the ice to melt in, in the in the in the coffee. Well, the easy solution to this is have coffee ice. They can market the heck out of that. Just make a coffee ice machine. Yeah, well, right. I and mean, Starbucks. They they have to be thinking about this, right? Starbucks, are you thinking about this? Are you thinking about it? Coffee think ice. about it. Think about it. Stacy will never sue you. Coffee ice. She'll I mean, pay think you it, more. Think it a marketing campaign. It's like the longer you wait, the more coffee you get. It's like a wow. it's like a coffee fountain of youth. Yeah, never. Yeah, yeah. Boy, you'll be chewing on that ice. Bottomless all day. Bottomless cold brew. Coffee ice. Coffee ice. Jonathan. Jo the Jonathan bored me. I'm I'm moving on to Webster. Okay, Webster. Mm -hmm. Webster Lucas from California only received one napkin with his order. And when he asked for more, the server refused. He complained to the manager who apologized on behalf of the store, but it wasn't enough. Too late. He proceeded to sue the chain for $1.5 million, claiming he was unable to work because of undue mental anguish from the experience. Mm. How could this be real? Webster. Webster Lucas. Webster, you man. entitled doofus. <laughs> I mean, the manager apologized and showered you with napkins. Well, we don't know that. It could have been an apology, but I'm sorry, sir, but we only will give you one napkin. Where are they stingy with the napkins? Now they- Some they places start... they give you way too many. They, they, they are going back on that though, because of trees. Yeah, yeah, those pesky trees. The trees sued people. I mean, it does make me think there are places where they start, like Bojangles started charging for the, if you want an extra dipping sauce. That happened before we came out west. Mm -hmm. uh, I respect that, you know. Um, I don't really like. Before we got our wagons rounded up, yeah. came out west. <laughs> I don't Let's think see, we could score some. Gold. It does bother me when they grab a whole handful of like ketchup packets at I mean, a fast I don't food place. Need to, well, you know the worst because we do a lot of takeout now because you know the situation the world's in, and uh, many different restaurants will give you their like sauces or sauces or whatever it is that you're getting depending on the food. Yeah. And you just get so much of it, and then you just have it all. And I always like take it and like stack it and put it in the fridge. Put it in the I put it in the butter thing in the fridge. And th and that's just to make myself feel better because yeah. what's going to happen is we're going to go in there. And we're like, what is all that sauce yeah. in here? Throw it away. Yeah, you know, it's just it's bad for them. Mythical Kitchen. They should do a like a sauce scrape, like scrape all the sauces out of your butter and make a super thing sauce? on your fridge, and then like make it into something. I think it would just be a big, a big sauce with this, all are the they, sauces mixed. Are they fielding our ideas? I don't know. Big sauce I tasting. really can't tell. I really can't tell anymore. Uh, uh, where uh, did Webster get harmed? Oh. I think this is not a giant chain because... Psh, stingy with the napkins at McDonald's. Yep. 
Wow, McDonald. Uh, the judge yeah. dismissed the case, but not before putting the plaintiff on a frivolous lawsuit watch list, which restric restricted him from filing new suits for a period of time. Oh, that's a good law. I, I Okay, there's a good law there. A litigious lawsuit watch list. Make your voice heard and vote like a beast. Visit votelikeabeast.com for all your voting needs.